Hello, did someone say weird core? Welcome to Fuel to My Lo-Fi, a safe space on the internet where I read old classics and gather retro-styled indie or imperfect things and talk about them. Alright, so for today, I'm basically going to go through my likes. Um, because of the new setup, I'm using TikTok on the desktop, so it's a little bit awkward. The framing and everything, I hope you don't mind. Um, yeah, so I think you recognize uh, the image on the side. <laughs> I can actually make myself big screen like this. And then I can make myself on the side. <laughs> Anyway, I'll be here for most of the time. Um, let's go. Let's get into it. Yeah, this I think is an image that I've seen so often nowadays. I see like real cool compilations. I like it. The void in a cloud spanning off into the horizon of nowhere. And this one, the house in the field. I feel like it would be so cool if someone had like a whole sticker collection of just these like iconic weird core images. I would make one myself, it's just that I don't know who the person is that created these photos are, but if every single person who owns the rights to these particular photos could just put them up online somewhere I can download, that would be nice. <laughs> <gasps> Aren't they just so lovely? Hello, I know you're gone, but I still feel your hatred. Ah. Uh, and what is going on here? It kind of looks like the place is like flooded or something. Do you suppose there was like an accident, like a pipe bus? Or do you suppose it's just the middle of like a, a typhoon? Is it a typhoon? Or a t no, maybe a hurricane, yeah, something like that. Or do you suppose it's just been so abandoned for so long that that whole subway area just got flooded and no one dealt with it at all? Thoughts? Yeah, I've definitely seen this image before. And this seems familiar as well, right? Like one of those party rooms for kids. Oh, we have eyes. We were here. Uh, we were here with you. You remember us? Mm. I actually found some TikToks actually talking about like a theory behind these eyes. So I thought I'd share them with you as well. I thought that would be interesting. Do you see me? I can feel your eyes. Definitely, we've gone through this in another in a previous video. Yeah. All the best people are crazy. Mm, I've definitely heard this quote before. And here we have like this darkness, and it's an odd place. I guess it's the basement. You can kind of see like exercise equipment. Um, with toys, it's really odd. Definitely a deep feeling of abandoned abandonment. Let's all be alone together. And this is the wallpaper, like the windows wallpaper, but there's like a teeny tiny house right at the end of the hill. I love that. Don't be afraid. Ooh, but the whole world is being pulled apart into a different dimension. Gosh. Wow. Look at that graphic. Look at that graphic. It is everywhere. Man, it's on the walls, it's on the floor. That must be so confusing if you had to like walk around there. But yeah, this is so nostalgic to me. I 100% remember going to like a bowling alley for like a birthday party or something and like standing there and they'll be like, oh, okay, measure your feet. And then they give you the shoe size. And they often couldn't quite fit my feet because I have long feet. They're not fat, they're long. I wear like a shoe size uh, 
nine yeah which is I think uh, 40 so even when I was a kid it was like I was I had big feet I was short but I had big feet <laughs> I'm basically a hobbit <laughs> so um, yeah this just brought back memories very nostalgic okay so that was it for the first TikTok let's move on to the next one Design for my dream clown costume. Oh yeah, I love going through Weird Core OCs. Oh my goodness, the Weird Core community is so creative. Like, look at how amazing this artwork is. It's like, I, I love pastel colors. I just, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to show everyone. Uh, the, the artist is called Jester Chin. If you like Weird Core art, their dream characters are so cute. Clown, Chester, you have done it again. Constantly raising the like, look at that. That is so amazing. They created the mask, the hat, the collar. They went they did not, you know, just stop at just creating the, the clown character. They went into the little details and nuances of their character. It's really cool. Far from the circus and doing it foolishly. I'd say Wigs. Oh gosh, I just love it. I am surprised, but I know who you are. I've seen a design for my dream clown costume. Oh, <sighs> wow. Oh, if they make this into an actual costume, that is so, so freaking cool. Definitely gonna give this person a follow. I would love to see that dream clown costume. <laughs> Okay, so sorry, straight into another um, selection of weird core photos and images. Don't cry, don't cry, stop, don't cry. Don't. It was funny, you shouldn't cry. Oh man, and this looks like to be like some, the back of some store somewhere or like in a in a in a mini mart or at a convenience store after hours. Hmm. I feel like someone's lost or something. Can I make it bigger for this one? Okay. Sorry, I'm still trying to like figure out the logistics of this because I'm recording on the desktop. Alright, so I just made it bigger. I hope that you can see better like this. Um, let me just re restart this one. Design for my. Oh man. It was funny. Don't cry, don't cry. Stop, don't cry, don't cry. You shouldn't cry. And this kind of looks like it's at some convenience store somewhere, like the back after hours or something. Oh man. Uh, I really hope that uh, definitely something bad happened to someone here. That's unfortunate. Ooh, ooh. That, that dark. Dark rides, those dark rides, oh, they always gave me the creeps. Ah, but lonely malls, these are actually places that I kind of feel like I want to explore one day, most likely with a friend. Wow, look at that. There's like a huge octopus. Just tentacles just reaching out into the sky. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, but. To be there after hours when there's nobody there is it's pretty creepy. I would not want to go there. Okay, so we have your liminal space, the distortion of the perspective, the creepy lights in the distance, the ceiling sort of crumbling and falling apart. Wow. 
And I definitely feel like I've been here before. This definitely feels like some function hall that I went to for, I don't know, some religious event or some school event. Wow. Now this is interesting. Usually pools where I am are outside. So for me, this really just sort of makes me feel weird because this this is literally a kiddie pool but it's clearly inside uh it's walled up so i suppose maybe this was a place like in a hotel like an underground swimming pool in a hotel or something that's so odd to me i've never been to a place like this before that's for sure but it feels like i have when i was younger maybe when i was like really small going to like some underground uh, pool at some hotel somewhere. Okay. Here comes the boy. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so weird and creepy, but it's so cute. Look at the way it's a little, it's a little feet just gonna move. And there's like burning in the window in the background. I don't know how I'm supposed to feel like th about this though, you know? Because um, clearly the music is like appreciative of the creation of this piano monstrosity. But, and it's happy, it's doing a little happy dance. Am I supposed to be scared or in love? Oh my gosh, and then there's the piano music in the background while it's just doing its little jig. And what is that? Are those eyes? Is that a face in the window? I, I don't know what to focus on. Should I focus on the burning and the clouds in the distance or on this piano creature? Here come I love the way its feet just went it just posed. I love her so elegantly. It's so cute. Okay, what to do if you see an eye angel in your dream? Do not talk to them. They are meant to seem friendly and they feed on your nostalgia. Do not take any tea they give you. If you wake up feeling something's watching you, I'm sorry, it's too late for you. Pray when you wake up, it's not raining. And do not talk to anyone claiming to be God. This is this is a being far more dangerous than your comprehension. Interesting. I honestly have never dreamt of an eye angel before. Never. But I kind of feel like after this I might. You know what I mean? Because when you think of it and when you like create like a lucid memory or like um some kind of idea attached to an object or a thing when you make it concrete basically in your reality it turns into symbology in fantasy and come out in your dream so i'll update you if i ever dream about an eye angel but so far i never have have any of you do let me know in the comment section below <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm not sure whether this section is going to be included um, due to copyright because, you know, these songs are not made by me. What will happen is either you will hear the music or if my video gets copyright striked, you will not. But I do think that it's important to share music, so I hope that this video actually puts the the names and the songs and that's why i wanted to include it as well because i think sharing good music makes good people okay, so this one is falling down video game music box and it looks like it's on spotify Ooh, nice i'm gonna i'm gonna add this to my favorite
Mirror Man. Uh, Jack something of how. Okay, I'll look for this. I don't know, you guys let me know. And if you guys have any weird core song recommendations, do put them in the comment section below. I would really love to build my weird core playlist. Welcome to your dreams. What would you like to see? We see you, we see everything, we see every move you make, you're not safe here, what do you think you're doing, you can't hide from us. I Hello, come take a seat with me, let's talk about the bad memories you had and how we get out of them. Mm. Well, 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 so... I really don't know whether or not the eye angels are good or bad. I think I want to look into like some folklore and actually find out. If you guys are interested in me sharing my views, I do like to like read about yokai and uh, basically Japanese demons and other kind of folklore and and spirits and stuff so if you guys are interested in me doing like a little video about things like that yeah let me know i'd be quite keen on sharing what i find with you um uh, whoa okay i kind of stopped at a very creepy image it's a completely pink room and it doesn't even look like it's a proper door. It literally looks like, um, the, st the floor was ripped open and beneath it is revealed to be a secret entrance. So this is creepy, you know, or like, there used to be a basement or there used to be a staircase but the house got renovated and um, they basically parked over the entrance and they carpeted it and now somebody discovered that there was some noises coming from underneath their bedroom and they ripped open the carpet and they Hide open the planks because it looks very rough. It doesn't look like it's done um, on purpose. And 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 looking down there, it looks so dusty, so gross, so old. Ugh. Oh my God! Some of these places, a pink mattress in the middle of the woods. It's just like no run. I wish I understood what the Japanese meant. Uh, but it, it must be like a similar sentiment about like, I was never loved, I wish I was loved. Uh, poor darling, whoever made this. Oh my gosh, look at that. I think what I like about this compilation, if it's not weird to say, but I like how pink everything is. It's just very childlike, very feminine. I like it a lot. Uh, I'm tired too, to be fair. I'm tired too. Ooh, okay. Alright, 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 alright. I think we saw what we saw. And. On any occasion, like this would be lovely, all oh, beautiful heart shaped locks on the edge of a bed, but it feels kind of like what if somebody gave you something, somebody you didn't like gave you something, or you got something because of something that you didn't like. This is the kind of picture you take, like, oh my god, you know, it's dark. You're not celebrating the fact that you got this present. 
Oh goodness. A few shots ago we saw a completely abandoned room. And then just toothbrushes and a toothpaste uh, and a toothbrush holder and now we have some pale looking classroom doors. And I think classroom doors are lecture halls. Oh my goodness, hospital rooms. I hate hospital rooms. This looks like an old abandoned building. But the, the railings look so pretty. It looks very detail oriented. Perhaps this used to be a school of some kind. Oh my god, there was a person in the door. Oh. My childhood had a lot of this and I hate it. I hate looking at it. I hate the way it makes me feel. Whoa. Okay. Now we're just fading off. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have some waterscapes. Well, we've definitely seen some of this, but I haven't seen some of these ones. I love how everything is just this minimalist style. This, um, what is it, tiling from the top to the bottom, everything. Is there an actual place that's like this? It's crazy. And if somebody did this like in 3D rendering, this is so gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. I would actually want to go to a place like this. I think that would be really cool. It doesn't feel um, scary. It just feels kind of calming, peaceful even. Though of course that's why you're here for the dental corridor where it gets a bit dark. That's where it starts to get a little bit creepy. Oh uh, yeah, I am excited to show you guys this. So you know how I love to see other people's weird corner creations. This excites me so much. I think they did such a lazy space did such an amazing job. Look at that! Isn't that absolutely amazing? Wow, look at that. That is crazy with the eyes and the alien smiley face and the head full of teeth and the tongue with all of those embellishments just coming down. And the back! Oh, it's adorable. I love it. Alright, so you know how much I love playgrounds and honestly when I was growing up I didn't have a lot of chance to experience them myself, so I think there's a part of me that just enjoys looking at them now. Mm. Though they are really creepy, like do you remember? that one time when you were at the very top and you realized everyone else had already gone down the slide or gone through the different maze and you're alone and usually at the top is where you can see through the windows and you see the cars passing by i always had this when i when i when i did get a chance to go this great sense of just calm followed by like paranoia of is there a rat or Who's that behind me? But there's never anybody around. However, I just, for some reason at that point, scramble down through the stairs or through the slide and crash into the ball pit and just get up. Because for some reason, once you have that feeling of dread, it just takes away the, pl the, the, the fun, the play. these foggy, these foggy landscapes and it looks like two headlights in the distance. Ooh. I've actually seen a lot of places like this that are just out of, just out of nowhere, just emptiness for, for emptiness sake. So I don't know whether it's really weird core 
or it's just liminal space, you know? Yeah, this this is the vibe. I think maybe weird core is also a little bit about color, but still, there's nothing super distorted about the area. But it does feel like okay, I've been here before. It's a waiting room. My mom's gone to get the ninetieth checkup <sighs> because you know everyone in my family's ill for some reason, and you just stay in the lobby area waiting for her. Alright, there we go. There's the weird quote. <laughs> ah, yeah. Wow. Twilight, man. This reminds me of that time when... It was a brief time when I lived outside of Asia. And I was walking home late at night with my mom. And here in Asia, all the houses are so close together. But in other countries, everything's far apart. There's these wide spaces. And there's this feeling of calm at the same time. What's that in the shadows? <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, yeah, I kind of miss that. This kind of sleepy neighborhoods. It's kind of inviting. But at the same time, you kind of also have to remember that nothing is always as it seems. But still, I kind of miss it. Wow, that is definitely the the the, the screensaver of the computer. But it's so cool because it looks so realistic. It looks like the light is really shining into this room, which is crazy because that means what is going on in this space. It's not as it seems. I like that compilation, that was cool. Would you live here? The atmosphere is fine. Jump in. No, I would not. I definitely would not. It kind of feels less like a place to live and more like a place to leave. Mm. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, I still have not played that game. Wow, that was interesting. This is the real life version of that game. Wow. There's nothing wrong with this kind of place. It's just too perfect, I guess. It's really, really perfect. Would you live here? Oh my gosh, just so many pictures, so many images immediately. Alright, let's take a look at this adorable food truck. Would I buy stuff from that food truck? No. Would I take a picture of that food truck and then run away? Yes. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, late at night in these areas. Mm, you gotta be careful. Oh my goodness. Now this, this is an image. This is a dream. I wonder if this is more dream core than rare core. Whatever it is, it is an amazing picture. Ah, yeah. Gosh, where are we going in this place? That is so peculiar. Definitely abandoned. Definitely out of nowhere. Is this a plane? Perhaps this is a plane. An old plane. Ooh. Whoa. It's really eerie that the cross is red. And it's just rising, illuminated above everything in this dark, abandoned area where it looks like nobody lives. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. What? Okay. Oh. Okay, I think we're gonna end there. Now it's just getting creepier and creepier. And with that, I think that's where I'm gonna stop today's episode of Weird Core Amazingness. 
Um, I'm going to be doing more regular weird core exploratory videos. I hope if you like this kind of stuff, you will subscribe so that you're notified whenever I post a brand new weird core video. And as always, may your days be magical, and I will see you in the next time. Bye-bye.